Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video we are looking into how much you need to use of your cleanser. And so I went ahead, grabbed some of the most popular cleansers on my channel and I'm pretty sure that you have at least one of them. But in case you should not have one of them, but the texture looks similar to one of the cleansers depending on the category that you're looking into, you can still follow the same guide. So I have categorized them as cleansing balms. So we have regular cleansers, treatment cleansers, exfoliating acid cleansers basically, and treatment cleansers using benzoyl peroxide because there the amount is going to change a slightly bit. So let's look into the cleansing balms which you can see right here. So you can see the examples that I have picked and you can see that they have a slightly different texture as well. So overall the amount that you can see in front of the different cleansers is the amount that I can recommend to use all over your face and neck if you're trying to remove pigmented or more stubborn or thicker makeup as well as mineral sunscreen. However if you prefer to use the cleansing bombs just on their own to remove any excess oil, dirt and sweat, well then use a bit less. You do not need to use that amount um, for that specific case, otherwise you can up with quite a lot of product because you're not really breaking anything down. Still, when it comes to the amount, as you can see right here with the ones in a tube, they usually come with a safety seal. And so I've put the safety seal size there for reference as well. Usually they are pretty small so that you can see and have like an understanding of the amount above so that you can put this into reference based on when doing this at home of how much you're going to use. And please keep in mind that usually with like balm cleansers that have a white thicker texture, you're usually going to warm them up between your hands so they then transfers into an, a transparent oil type texture, which then helps to spread the product evenly all over. Because if you're not going to warm it up between your hands, you think that you're not using enough product. But make sure to warm it up and then blend it all over, then this amount is just enough. And so this would be then the reference when it comes to cleansing balms. Then let's look into regular cleansers as you can see right here. So regular cleansers usually come with a pump and um, then you can go with about one to one and a half pump. So you can get cleansers for drier skin types which usually are cream type cleansers or milk type cleansers whereas the ones for oilier skin types are usually gel type cleansers or overall sometimes referenced as foaming cleansers. And so overall the amount can stay pretty much the same. Start off with one pump. If one pump shouldn't be enough for your entire face and neck, you can always add half a pump to this as well, but I wouldn't choose more than that. Otherwise, again, it can become quite a lot because you usually would apply those cleansers on wet skin, which then helps to spread the product even further. Then when it comes to treatment cleansers with salicylic acid, which is usually the most common exfoliating acid ingredient that's being used, there are some exceptions with uh, glycolic acid cleansers as well, but overall you should use less than um, you would use with your regular cleansers or balm cleansers. So overall, if you should have an exfoliating acid cleanser that comes with a pump, use about one pump. Um, and then you can see how much this would be. This can like vary a bit based on the texture, but basically just go with one pump and then there you have it. I wouldn't use more than that. Again, because it still is a treatment cleanser that helps to exfoliate the skin, the more product you're going to use, and if you're considering it of leaving it on maybe for one to two minutes before rinsing it off, um, the more sensitivity can occur, therefore do not overdo it. When it comes to a cleanser that comes in a tube where you would squeeze out the amount, well, here you can again see the safety seal as reference of how much you would use. Or even like with the Inkis List Salicylic Acid Cleanser, I've put the cap next to it so that you can see then again the amount when trying this out at home. And then this would be enough for your entire face and neck. And then lastly, when it comes to the treatment cleansers with benzoyl peroxide, well, those are usually in like let's put it this way, it kind of like in, in, in brackets, kind of a bit more irritating on the skin. Therefore, you do not need to use a lot of product. Just coating it evenly and thinly all over should be enough. So therefore, this would be then the amount that I can recommend, which is just, just enough for my entire face and neck. But of course, if you just want to use it on your face or you just want to use it on certain areas, depending on where you have acne, you need to reduce that amount. Otherwise, it's going to be too much. And again, usually with benzoyl peroxide cleansers, you 
it can immediately rinse them off if that's one of your preference or leave them on for maybe one or the other minute like no five minutes but like one to two minutes should be more than enough and then rinse it off again if you would use or like overdo it with the amount of product with such treatment cleansers it can create sensitivity therefore do not overdo it with the amount and this should be more than enough because again you would apply to wet skin which then helps to sweat it even further and so those would be then my examples that I can share with you. Of course, if you should have a different cleanser from a different brand and it has a similar texture, you can still follow that same guide that I just presented to you. And you will be able to find the guide in the description box down below if you want to go over it again when trying this out at home. Now, I do have all of the applications based on the cleansers uh, that I have picked as my examples on my channel. So if you want to see the entire application too, just type in the name on my YouTube channel page and then there you find it and I'm going to leave uh, some of the examples at the end of this video as well specifically when it comes to the salicylic cleanser and the benzoyl peroxide cleanser because this is where you would need to use less otherwise again it can be quite sensitivity and I can create sensitivity and so this is all what I wanted to share with you I do hope that you enjoyed this general guide that this is going to be helpful when now using the cleanser at home and if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye!